hello and welcome now I wonder why it's not working why uh, this box is not getting any IP address so what I did what I found sorry uh, is that I checked this box we should not check this box because it will uh, depend on the uh, on the host defined here static mapping and we will configure static mapping after we see uh, what happened here let's go again and I think it should get one of those let's disable this let's enable it back oh that's nice okay it's working now uh, if we go to status uh, port let's go to DHCP status we see that we have static mapping we have uh, sorry DHCP leases how we can add it we can add it from here or we can go to DHCP server and go to the end of this and we can plus but it will cost you some uh, work but if we go to the SCP says and you can show configure show active only uh, let's make plus and we will give him like we can't assign from 10 to 200 so let's see 192.168.57.201 that's that's fine now this is you can say this is the pc c1 why it's two one c1 for my uh let's say for my XX enable static ARP entry enable DNS it will be resolved so we need gateway 192.168 what's the gateway for this host it will be 57.254 and domain name mm, don't need domain name anyway uh, that's it NTP server yeah what's the NTP server for this once 192 dot our server let's copy this and let's paste this and we will save and apply and that's it let's go here and let's disable this let's enable again that's it you can see 2 1 and that's everything you need to, uh, to get from DSCP so now another thing you can deny a known host so if anybody join this network will not get a DHCP leases from this server and also if you have like more you need more security you can just enable static ARP entries uh, so nobody can get an uh, it's like security in layer 2 let's say security in layer 2 and after you do that you will save what what provide static ARP entries is uh, let's say we sh we make a stop or shutdown for uh, our DHCP server then how the clients or hosts uh, will get an uh, DHCP lease well uh, it's uh, come on Well, by contacting this uh, this firewall you can get a DSCP lease oops 
deny and non hosts sorry we are on the LAN and we deny ourselves right away okay wow don't tell me it's not working <laughs> type okay uh, we are stuck because uh, we deny a known host on the uh, on our network and we are uh, connecting from dot one so let's say we can't even do anything right now okay okay uh, th that's good why because we can from here learn uh, something about uh, now even here we can't uh, even here sorry not here also even okay even here uh, we can do a lot but because now we are in front of our machine we can make uh, restore recent configuration let's say 15 uh, list backups and uh, we will get point we'll get two let's restore a backup also we'll get to uh, yes we made a non change sorry no no let's go to 15 let's go to first one Let's go to six. Okay. Uh, sorry, two and then six. And we will say yes. And now we will reboot because uh, this will not take effect until we reboot successfully. Let's fi make five. And yes. This is a good uh, example of troubleshooting your uh, BFSense firewall. So we uh, lose, uh, we lost the connection to uh, to that uh, firewall. So now, uh, let's say we will change this and we will configure another uh, another another uh, interface can see uh, it's already starting co configurator we are now we can go and say admin one two three one two three and that's it we are so cool in this <laughs> uh, anyway uh, we'll see if this can get let's disable you can you get yeah yeah status but we don't have IP address so let's go quickly and this CP server don't deny a known host uh, we will edit this and we will not enable R mm, dot uh, 
let's see, two, zero, one. And that's it. NTP server, one nine two, one six eight, dot five seven dot two five four. That's it. Sorry, five changes. Oh, cool. Let's repair this. Renewing your IP address. That's cool. And that's everything we want. Thank you for listening. Have a nice time.